hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this glitchy logo reveal or illustration reveal animation inside of after effects without using any plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in after effect now let's create a new composition I'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is 1 minute and for the background color I'll choose solid black color and hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action now press ctrl i and keyboard to import our logo so this is our logo file I'll just simply hit import hit ok and this is the logo file you are free to choose any illustration for now I will choose this not logo but you can say uh, it's an illustration now press ctrl y on keyboard to create a solid background layer I will name it as bg and for the color for now I will choose black and drag it down over here now select this bg layer go to the go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply ramp effect on it gradient ramp linear to radial and i'll move this point over here and i'll drag this point over here and in the middle one i'll choose something like this and instead of white i'll choose complete solid black white black sorry and choose fit maybe something like this or you can swap this color so you get something like this but for now i'll choose this one only and i'll lock this layer now press ctrl n on keyboard and i'll call it as fractal now press ctrl y on keyboard and name it as fractal hit ok go to the effect and preset panel and apply fractal noise effect on it instead of basics i'll choose swirly and start of soft i'll choose blocks and for the complexity i'll choose two or let's say one and go to the transform unlink this transform and i'll drag this scale something like this now alt click on this evolution panel and type time into 200 so we are getting this kind of turbulence animation now go to this our main animation select this logo press ctrl shift c to pre comp it move all attributes into the new composition choose this and hit ok simply and hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and I'll drag my fractal layer over here just like this now go inside this logo comp press uh, go to 1.5 frame something press S on keyboard create one keyframe over here uh, at something of like four seconds maybe let's create one keyframe and at this point I'll make it zero so we are getting something like this now go to our main animation i'll apply time displacement and for the time displacement layer i'll choose this fractal instead of fold i'll choose quarter one so as we can see we are getting something like this you can choose half if you want Now go to this logo comp, select this one, press F9, go to this graph editor, select this handle and move it over here. Now if play, you will get something like this. If I play this from start, as we can see, we are getting this kind of animation. Now press S on keyboard 
let's make it 80 over here create one keyframe at this point let's make it 100 so we are getting something like this or what we can do is let's delete this keyframe for now right now we are happy with this animation after that what we will do is select both of these layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as one hit ctrl d few times now hide this one select this one and apply fill effect on it unhide the second one and apply fill effect on it and choose color blue unhide the third one and apply fill effect on it and choose green color unhide this one and apply find edges effect on it and invert it so we will get something like this if i check it out in full resolution it will look something like this but for now i'll choose half one only and then over this animation now after that what i'll do is i'll drag this over here this one over here this one over here and this one over here so if i play this now we are getting this kind of animation if you want then you can the increase the distance between them also so we will get some more colory animation select this last three layers press f4 and instead of normal i'll choose green so as we can see we are getting something like this if you want this if you don't want this background just delete this ram but i'll choose this for now now after that what i'll do is select both this i mean all this five layers hit ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo animation so we are getting something like this go inside this create one null object select all this layers and parent with this over none press s for key scaling option at the start i'll choose 100 and let's say at 8 seconds i'll make it 120 so we are getting this kind of animation now another thing we can do is we'll create one adjustment layer and i'll apply cc lens effect on it as you can see we are getting something like this already create one keyframe over here go few frame forwards let's make it 500 and move it over here see that this keyframe set f9 go to our main animation comp so we are getting this kind of animation hit ctrl d on keyboard select the second one press s for scaling options scale it press t and let's make it 40 if you want to decrease it let's let's make it 25 if i stick it out in full resolution it will become a little bit heavy so i'll choose half go to this logo animation and move it over here I'll make it is 0 
over from here to here so we will get this kind of animation and i'll move this one over here now create one adjustment layer over here and i'll apply glow effect on it or instead of that i'll choose the second one i'll delete this adjustment layer select this first one and apply glow effect on this one only increase the glow radius and glow threshold i'll choose 90 or you can say 80 let's check it out in full resolution i think this one looks cool to me go to the half now if i play from start we are getting something like this so yep this is our final glitchy logo reveal animation so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned